Greetings Commanders. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to my Guardian Module Blueprint tutorial. In this video, we will go to one of the Guardian Ruin sites, where I will demonstrate how to acquire the Guardian Module Blueprint fragments. The Blueprint is one of the materials you will need for all six Guardian Modules. We will also need a ship, equipped correctly to make the job easier. As you can see, I have chosen the Crate Phantom. The ship is basically my Crate Phantom exploration build, with a couple of tweaks here and there. Okay then commanders, let's get started. Our ship is ready to go, let's plot a course to my favorite Guardian Relic site, to get these module blueprints. It's always a good idea to bookmark these sites for future use. There is also another Guardian site for the weapons blueprint, but I will cover that in another tutorial. Right now, this is the system we need to head out to, and more specifically, at this planet. We have arrived, and now we can choose which SRV we want to take. My personal favorite is the Scorpion, as it will do better in combat against the Guardian Sentinels. Low gravity warning. First we need to get to the top of the Guardian structure. This will then allow all the energy pylons to emerge out of the ground, when we get close enough to them. At the very top you will find the ancient data terminal. Now the first pylon should raise out of the ground. Immediately afterwards, you will be attacked from behind by two Guardian Sentinels, you must take these out. Target destroyed. With the Sentinels out of the way, proceed back down, but stay in the center. By staying in the center, when you get about here, you will activate another two pylons to your left and right that are lower down. Now head back down to the one at the bottom, and it should now also raise out of the ground. Here is the one on our left that activated on the way down. And here is the one on the right. The sentinels are usually a good indication that you're right near a hidden pylon. Let's take out this sentinel and find the last pylon. Here it is. We now have all six pylons primed and ready to be charged. Before we do though, it's a good idea to collect a guardian relic, as we will need this at the final step. Now just lower your cargo scoop, target the relic and drive over it to collect, just like you would anything else. With the relic on board we are now ready to charge the pylons. To charge the pylons, just aim for this area and keep shooting until the timer appears. You will notice the timer increases with each charged pylon. If you let the timer run down before you charge all six pylons, you will have to go round and charge them all again.
Leave the pylon at the top of the structure until last. Last one. As soon as you charge the last pylon, you will be attacked again by sentinels. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. With the sentinels out of the way, drive over facing the ancient data terminal and park up over the pattern on the ground. Then jettison the guardian relic we collected earlier. This will then activate the structure. Switch to turret mode and be ready to scan the spinning globe. When the square rectangle appears, lock onto it and scan it. You should now have the Guardian module blueprint. Again the Sentinels will attack as soon as you are successful, but they are no match against the Scorpion SRV. As you can see, I now have two module blueprints as I have done this twice. Remember to farm materials from the Sentinels, Guardian structures and obelisks before you leave for whatever Guardian module you want to unlock. You can log out and back in to reset the playing field as many times as you want, until you have enough materials. Okay commanders, we are all done here. Time to head back to the ship. Thanks for watching.